Sometimes when you're lighting or shading a scene, it's nice to have a zoomed in view in preview if there's an area that you particularly want to focus on. So let's say I want to focus on the head of this mannequin. Well, there is a shortcut. If you hold down the shift key and then scroll with your mouse wheel, you can zoom right in on any area uh, in preview. The problem with this is that it's not persistent. So if I was to switch to the modeling tab and then switch back to the render tab, you can see that preview has been reset. So what you can do is to create a duplicate camera that you simply use in preview. So um, in order to facilitate this workflow, I've created a simple assembly called preview camera. And if you drag that from your preset browser and drop it onto your main scene camera, it's going to create a child, I'll just show you there in the item list. And uh, in preview, if you can select your camera and you can switch between your main camera and your preview camera. If you click this big red locator, it will bring up uh, some controls and you can zoom in and out and shift on the X and Y. Now bear in mind this is not moving this preview camera at all, it's still going to be in exactly the same position as the main scene camera. So um, all you're doing is zooming in and shifting the lens in the X and Y, which means that the perspective is going to be exactly the same as the uh, main zoomed out camera. All you're doing is uh, zooming in on an area of interest, uh, which is very useful if you ever need to do a cropped render, you can use this preview camera to do that if you just want to re-render a small part of your scene and uh, and then composite it back onto a bigger render in post. Uh, but it's also very useful for just uh, focusing on an area of interest. And the good thing about this is that it's uh, persistent. So if I was to switch to the modeling tab, when I come back, um, you can see that my preview is still there. And I can switch between the main view and the preview really quickly. And if I do an F9 render, it's, uh, it's not going to render this uh, zoomed in view, it's always going to render the main camera view. So it's basically just a little workflow enhancement that, that I find really useful when I want to zoom in on a particular area of my scene. So if you're wondering where to find this assembly, it's on the Luxology Share site. So if you go to luxology.com and simply click on Share, uh, this takes you to the asset sharing site and what you'll need to do is click on the Assemblies in the menu here and do a search for preview camera and you'll find it and uh, you can download it from there.